Fire bending is the most explosive bending style. But which of these hotheads is the most powerful? That one kind of felt hot. Don't patronize me. Igniting this bonfire is someone we know all too well. Captain Zhao. It's Commander now. Commander Zhao's military discipline made him a formidable threat, as seen in this Agni Kai. His ruthlessness even pushed him so far as to take out the water spirit. Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Let it go now. Not many people can say they've single-handedly blacked out the moon with their firebending. Although, as the saying goes, if you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. And Zhao's assault on the spirit world would indeed burn him in the end. <laughs> Zhao's Agni Kai days are long forgotten. But how do you think he would have performed in the Pro Bending League? Probably not as good as our next bender, Mako. He is dancing on the edge of the ring, surviving the three-on-one barrage. It seems his plan is to let the Tiger Dillos punch themselves out. And his plan is working. Han is in the pool. They've got nothing left in the tank, and Mako is on the offensive. It's two-on-one. Scratch that. It's one-on-one, -on -one, and it's an earth and fire slugfest. Mako always keeps his cool under fire, probably because he's usually starting that fire. This pro bender is so good, his skills pay the bills, literally. Mako pulls off the upset of the season, winning the match for the Fire Ferrets. He's not just an entertainer, though. Mako can do something few others can, generate and redirect lightning, a skill he used to defeat a wickedly dangerous water bender. Not to mention, he saved the city from an enormous mecha suit. It's a good thing such a powerful firebender has sworn to protect and serve. Though not everyone in power can be considered a good guy. How dare you address your Fire Lord this way? Fire Lord Sozin definitely belongs on this list. We're not including avatars since they've had generations to practice. But it's still worth noting that at times, Sozin was able to go head to head against Avatar Roku. Looks like I win again, Roku. And of course, Sozin's power left a dreadful stain on this planet's history. I knew the next Avatar would be born an air nomad, so I wiped out the air temples. The former Fire Lord used his power to wipe out the entire Airbender population. Firebenders? They were here? Granted, his bending was amplified by the Great Comet. But his ability to capitalize on such raw power places him as our 10th most powerful firebender. Next up, Combustion Man, AKA Sparky Sparky Boom Man. No one knows his real name, but his ability to create explosions with his third eye is no less terrifying. Rumor has it, Combustion Man was a Fire Nation soldier injured in battle who was later healed using experimental techniques. This guy is too good. He shoots fire from his brain. Those experimental techniques are what gave him the ability to firebend using his mind. You may be asking yourself, who could be more powerful than this explosive hitman? How about an explosive hit woman? Okay, so she wasn't exactly a hired assassin, but close. Plea is the only other one we've witnessed who can combustion bend. Just look at the lengths they went to in locking her up. Not that it helped. Please power seemed better controlled than Combustion Man's, and thus, more powerful. Her attempt to rid the world of the Avatar could have come true, had it not been for Please's own power backfiring. Plea! Plea and Combustion Man may have reshaped the art of firebending, but like, who started it? My name is Juan. I know, I know, we said no Avatars. But this is technically before Juan was an avatar, before avatars even existed. <laughs> We're going to be out in the wilds for a week. You wouldn't last two seconds. I can handle myself. We all get fire, right? 
Amidst a life of extreme poverty, Juan was granted temporary firebending abilities by an ancient lion turtle. But his plan to rob the rich and give to the poor failed. Juan? So Juan found himself expelled to the spirit wilds. There, he broke boundaries by connecting with spirits, who in turn taught Juan how to use firebending like the dragons. Juan was the first human who learned how to use firebending as an extension of their own body, not a tool. And that practice lived on with the help of the Sun Warriors. While we don't know much about the Sun Warriors, we know that their firebending is based on the original masters, Ran and Shaw. They've dedicated their lives to preserving the original art. It's like the sun, but inside of you. Do you guys realize this? Well, our civilization is called the Sun Warriors. So what could be better than mastering an ancient art? Combining that with modern combat skills. Yeah, that's a great dance you two learned there. It's not a dance, it's a firebending form. That's right, we're talking our boy, Zuko. As someone who's had to learn firebending twice. What was that? That was the worst firebending I've ever seen. This outcast turned fire lord knows firsthand that true fire comes from your breath. Not the muscles. Enough. I've been drilling the sequence all day. Teach me the next set. I'm more than ready. Even in his adolescence, his pure muscle approach was enough to overpower then Commander Zhao and that Agni Kai. Next time you get in my way, I promise. I won't hold back. And while we never witnessed him generate lightning, we saw him redirect it more than once. No! Zuko's totally among the best, but he wasn't exactly a natural. That honor belongs to his sister. She's a true prodigy. Azula was always a natural, having flourished in her childhood training. She was the apple of Fire Lord Ozai's eye. Her unique style of blue firebending complemented her ruthless aggression. She is the youngest firebender we've seen who could generate lightning. In fact, she almost ended the Avatar cycle when her bolt nailed Avatar Aang right in his spine. With three spots left, it's time to give respect where respect is due. To Jong Jong. Only a fool seeks his own destruction. He seemed to know the secret belief that firebending must not be fueled by anger. Power in firebending comes from the breath. That is why you must master proper breath control. As someone who appeared to take the art of firebending more seriously than most. Learn restraint or risk destroying yourself and everything you love. It's no wonder that this firebending master was also a member of the Order of the White Lotus. And it was with that elite group of masters that he helped liberate Ba Sing Se. Can we also just point out how he's literally flying? Now, speaking of the Order of the White Lotus, it's time to announce our number two most powerful firebender, Iroh. A major loss in his life put him on a path of spiritual self-discovery. That path led him to Ran and Shaw, where Iroh also learned the secret to true firebending. Iroh was the last outsider to face the masters. They deemed him worthy and passed the secret on to him as well. But his path also had him studying under masters from other nations. His time with the Water Tribe was especially important. A waterbender lets their defense become their offense turning their opponent's energy against them. I learned a way to do this with lightning. Honestly, the only reason we're not putting him as the top tamale is Iroh's own self-doubt. Even if I did defeat Ozai, and I don't know that I could, it would be the wrong way to end the war. And that means the number one firebender is to be revealed after our honorable mention one of the youngest firebenders we've ever witnessed, Kiyi. Zuko's half-sister hasn't had too much time to hone her skills, but seeing her melt away these steel doors, she's clearly inherited some powerful potential from Avatar Roku. You're so cute. Now, 
That finally brings us to our number one choice, Ozai. It's time for this world to end in fire and for a new world to be born from the ashes. As Iroh's younger brother, Ozai grew up with a much different personality, ambitious and aggressive. What made Ozai especially powerful was a lack of regard for humanity. He would have executed his own son had Zuko not learned to redirect lightning. Ozai was even prepared to wipe out the entire Earth Kingdom. Thankfully, Avatar Aang took away Ozai's firebending abilities altogether. Fire Lord Ozai, you and your forefathers have devastated the balance of this world, and now you shall pay the ultimate price. What? What did you do to me? I took away your firebending. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. So I guess, technically now, Iroh is the most powerful firebender? Comment below. Let us know who you think is the most powerful firebender. Like and subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for all things Avatar. The breath becomes energy in the body. The energy extends past your limbs and becomes fire.